What well, up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. I got a question for y'all. Um, when it comes to parents and children, um, can the behavior of the children be attributed to the parents all the time? Now, we know, I guess, the answer to that can be yes to a degree. I guess it's a balance between all that. But um, a lot of times... A parent can do everything right or perceive to do everything right or in their mind they feel like they did everything right and raising a child and instilling the values and proper principles in the child and that child still go in a direction that is opposite of what was instilled in the child um, so that's why I pose the question what do y'all think leads to that when uh, a child who's had a good upbringing never had to want for anything and, and, and was instilled with the right uh, qualities as, as a person um, and they still go left. Also, sometimes people will say, this is what they'll say, they'll say, well man, you know, if the parent was like that and the parent was out there wilding and doing what they was doing back in the day, it's just in the child, it's in them. And sooner or later, it's gonna come out. They they kind of equate it to like if there's a um, like if if the mother is on drugs while she's carrying a baby and then she's continuing to do drugs while she's carrying the baby, then that addiction that the mother has can be passed on into the uh, the, the baby. Um, that, that chemically, that chemically chemical addiction, you know, into the physical. So. But people will say the same thing in terms of just behavior. They'll say like just in the the mental DNA, they will attribute that and say, well, hey man, that's just, it's just, it's in the blood. You know, like people will use the example, say, well, man, you know, I knew he was gonna grow up hustling. You know, his daddy was hustling just in his blood. <sighs> I think environment has a lot to do with certain situations. Um, I think that circumstances have a lot to do with certain situations if, if a child is in a bad condition um, I think that if there's if there's the absence of a parent particularly a father uh, figure then that could have a lot to do with it but you know the flip side is you see young children who may have, may have had hood parents and their, their, their hood parents changed their life around got them out of those situations and now you got youngsters who grew up in the suburbs still trying to be thugs, still trying to be gangsters. Um, so it's really all over the place, man. It's really all over the place. I would just say to do the very best that you can and pray, pray to God that your child takes to it um, and not make mistakes. Because child going to make mistakes, but not make serious mistakes not make those life-changing mistakes that even you as a parent won't be able to get them out of just by showing up and saying a word you know um it's levels meaning that when a child gets in a situation okay if he's in the third grade you can just go down to the school go to the principal's office have a few words and be like hey come on you know even in high school even in the other but once they start to reach certain levels then, 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 then them, 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 them folks get them, then it's not so easy to just go down there and get them. And if you do, it's going to cost some money. And in certain situations, if it's bad enough, then money, not, money may not even be able for you to get your child out of that situation. People will also say, they'll say, hey, man, you know, the sins of the father are visited on the children, meaning that even if you got a good child, then they, if, if, if daddy or mama was just out there wild, then those consequences will fall on the child in, in certain situations or they, they will start to adopt certain behavior patterns like, oh man, I thought I, I thought I was, I thought I had that behind me. Now my son is out there doing it. Now my daughter is out there doing it. Um, again, I just think, you know, you have to do the very best that you can and pray that it that it takes pray that it takes hold and sometimes the um 
the effects of the, the teachings that you put into your child, they don't take immediately. You know, you got some medicines that you could take certain medicines um, for those of you who take medicine. But there's certain things you can take that when you don't feel good, that you immediately start to feel good once you take it. It's like, okay, well, you know what, all right. <sighs> Headache's starting to go away. Fitting a little better. But then you got other medicines that you take that it takes a while. It don't kick in right away. And you may lay there and kind of suffer for a little while. And, but then after a while, then it's like, okay, I, I feel it kicking in. Sometimes that's how it is, you know, with a child. It's like you tell them things from early on. And you watching them. They steady messing up, messing up. You steady telling them, steady giving them the game, teaching them the right way. And it just doesn't seem like it's working. Until one day, years later, they could be grown. They could be on the cusp of being 19, 20, 18, and you see a transformation, you see a change. And they will repeat to you things that you said to them like years ago because they always heard it. They always listened and they always understood even if they were acting like they didn't and they run into those life situations that you told them they would run into. And then sometimes, if it ain't too late, they will gain a better appreciation for the parent. So it is what it is, man. So do the best you can, man. It's your big brother, K. Reno. I'll hit y'all with another one real soon. Peace.